Hello, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, ladies, I want to talk about our emotions because I have learned that if you don't get check of your emotions, you're going to be destroyed. And so many of you ladies are being destroyed because you're living out of your emotions. Your emotions control you on a daily basis. From the time you wake up to the time you sleep, your emotions are controlling you. It's even controlling your dream life because some of your dreams that you have is not coming from God. They're coming before because of your emotional state that you was in while you was woke. So when you go to sleep, your emotional state turns into your dream life. And you know, sometimes those dreams that you have is not of God. Some of them are by the enemy. But some of them is being birthed from out of your emotional state that you're in when you're awake. Ladies, until you get control of your emotional life, you're going to be tossed to and fro. You're going to continue to be unstable in all your ways. You're going to continue to go through trials and tribulations. You're going to continue to fall apart. You know, that scripture said, don't think it's strange that fiery trials come. You know, a lot of you think it's strange because emotionally, you don't want to feel whatever you're feeling. You know, some of you are in bad relationships and you don't want to feel the pain. Or you've been in bad relationships. You don't have things happen to you in your childhood. And most people try to run from pain because we don't want to feel pain. But pain is actually a signal that something is wrong. We learned that in medical school. Pain is a sign that something is going on. That's not right. It's a sign. So anytime you're feeling pain, Think of it like that. What's going on? What's not right? What's not in alignment that I'm feeling pain? But ladies, Lord is pressing my spirit to give this message today to you. Because some of you are just tossed to and fro. And he wants you to be stable, unmovable, unshakable in your faith, in your relationship with him. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is stop living out of your emotions. I've learned on my own personal journey with God is that not to rely on my emotions because they are fickle. There is times that your emotions do come in handy and God gave them to us for a purpose. But a lot of times your emotions are fickle and you know it. Well, I feel like I don't like her. I feel like he loves me. I feel like he cares about me. I feel like he wants me. Is he exhibiting any traces of wanting you? These emotions put you in a fantasy world. These emotions have you with unforgiveness. These, these emotions will have you so much with anxiety that you can't, you know, so many women have anxiety today. That they can't even function in life, that it just shuts them down. You know, your emotions is what's got you depressed. Because a lot of times what you're thinking you know, that's how that's how it attacks. That's how the enemy attacks your emotions because they'll put thoughts in your mind or he'll send little people or situations to trigger certain emotions in you. Like certain situations trigger fear. Certain situations trigger stress based on experiences that you had in the past or based on your knowledge of what people say fear is or what people say stress is. You know, like Monday is a stressor for some people because society has made it stressful. So a lot of people are like, oh, it's Monday. I don't want to go to work. It doesn't matter if it was Tuesday and it was the first day of the week. It's another day. Every day has its new glories. So when you take God's word and apply it to your life and you don't live out of the seat of your emotions, you will see victory in your life. I want to give you the definition of emotions. Like I have, I have two. Emotions. A natural instinctive state of mind deriving from one's circumstances, mood, or relationships with others. So according on your relationship with other people, it's going to set a mood and an atmosphere for you, for your emotions. So a lot of you, if you're in, 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 in excuse me, tongue twister, if you're in unhealthy, unhealthy relationships, it makes your emotions unhealthy. And a lot of you can contest to that right now. A lot of you don't went to work today upset, angry, because you might have had an argument last night with your boo. 
your boo might not be acting right. He might be out there cheating. He might be doing whatever. And it's setting a tone for your emotions. You know, us as women go through a lot. And as they say, we wear a lot of hats. But some of those hats that you wear, you need to loose. You need to release because emotionally you're not equipped to handle all the pressure that you're under with those different hats. And you see it. That's why a lot of women are popping off, snapping. You can't talk to them. Say, because emotionally, emotionally, they are out of control. You know, a lot of women don't need to be in leadership because they're emotionally unhealthy. One minute they're happy, the next minute they're saying it's just their emotions is like a roller coaster. You can't be in leadership and be like a roller coaster. This is one of the things, and this is one of the reasons why men say they don't understand women. And that's because most women, we live out of our emotions. Men live from here. And that's why they don't understand us. That's why women don't really understand men because they don't make decisions based on their emotions. They base it on this, cognitiveness. Most women base their decisions on emotions, what they feel like, if it feels right. <laughs> men, they calculate, they figure out their decision-making process. Now, just like women, if you're carnal and fleshly and unsaved, then as a man, their decision-making process is going to be dysfunctional. And that's how women are. If we are emotionally um, deficit, emotionally um, messed up, which a lot of women are, they've been messed up from childhood. You may have been raped, molested. Uh, you may have been abused in your home. You may express certain things in your home. So emotionally, you are just distraught. You have a deficit in your emotions. Excuse me for you. So you definitely can't rely on your emotions because your emotions are fickle, as I said. And based on past experiences, Your emotions will lie to you. So you have to get emotionally healthy to be able to discern if this is the right time to use my emotions in this situation. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is know the word of God and apply every situation and put it up against the word of God not your emotions. I hope you're understanding because it seems like I'm not. Ugh, how can I how can I give this another way so that you can understand it? But I want to read this next definition. Instinctive and intuitive feelings. As distinguished from reasoning or knowledge. So you only can distinguish. And you only can intuitive and instinctively use your emotions based on your knowledge and your reasoning. So if the knowledge that you have is dysfunctional, your emotions will be dysfunctional, which means if you base your decisions out of your emotions, your decisions will be dysfunctional. You know, everything... Everything in the Bible, God has given us scriptures to deal with the different emotions that rise up in our lives. He gave you scriptures on anger, fear. He gave you scriptures on unforgiveness. He's done, he don't put in the word how to deal with these emotions when they come up. But if you don't read your word and you don't know the word, how can you apply it to your life? And this is why most women are messed up. Because they don't first go to the word about their situations or go to God. They go to their emotions. And this is messing us up as women. Don't go and validate your emotions. Validate God's word. And if it's not validated in the word, don't go with it. I don't care what you're feeling. A lot of things feel right, but they don't mean they're right. And that's what we have to learn as women of God. 
I want to read John 8, 31 and 32. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ladies, only the truth is going to set you free from the emotional roller coaster that you're on. Only the truth of God, not your emotions, not what your friends think and feel, not what your family think and feel. What does the word of God say about your situation? You're setting up with depression. Some of you don't go on to counselors. Some of you don't go on to family members. You don't done everything but go to the word of God and taking heed to the word of God. You know, these counselors, God said, and, and, and get godly counsel. A lot of these counselors ain't even godly, so they're not even going to tell you about the word of God. Their foundation ain't the word of God. But babies, until you learn to stop living out your emotions, you're going to continue to go through a bunch of trials and situations and stuff that you shouldn't have to go through. Because you're living out of your emotions. I can tell you right now, most of the decisions that you made when it came to picking a mate was out of your emotions. And that's why you ended up hurt every time. Because you made that decision based on your emotions and not what the word of God says. See, you obey to guard your heart when you got the word of God. Not go with your emotions. There's a lot of people that you meet. Oh, I'm clicking with them and I feel comfortable with them. And I feel, but is it is their life lined up with the word of God? Are they serving God? Are they submitted to God? And if not, they're going to hurt you. Because they're not submitted to God. They're willing to submit to God. But you want to hang with them. You want to roll with them out of that emotional attachment that you had with them. And they had an emotional attachment to you and emotions are fickle because, you know, you might wake up in the morning with a bad mood. Why you got this bad mood? It's an attack from the enemy. He's messing with your emotions. Some of you go to work and be with people all day long, all day long. Your emotions, you'll be upset all day long because you woke up with an attitude because the enemy don't drop something in your spirit while you asleep and he's going to mess with your emotions. And then you throw it off for the whole day. You go out here on the road. Somebody pull out here in front of you. You got road rage. You're getting angry. You're angry all day long because that devil don't mess with your emotions. And God don't want you being easily puffed up. But ladies, we have to get our emotions in check. And until we get our emotions in check, I can tell you now from personal experiences, if you don't get your emotion state in check, you're always going to have problems. You're always going to be frustrated. You're always going to be angry. You're always going to be walking in unforgiveness. Get in your word. Seek God. Fast. Put that flesh under subjection. See what God says about that situation. God don't want you walking around with unforgiveness. That's an emotion. It's an emotion. What God tells you to do, he tells you to forgive. Not walk in unforgiveness. Let that emotion go. And then you got to know what triggered that emotion. Yeah, you might have had something happen in your childhood. You might have had some man do you wrong. You might have had a friend do you wrong. But get in your word and see what God says about it. He said, love them that despitefully use you. Do them right. Treat them right. You know, God has something in that word for every situation. You don't get a pass just because things happen to you. You got to forgive lest you be forgiven. Ladies, but just get your emotions in check. I'm going to tell you, when you get those emotions in check, you will see that life will be so much sweeter. Right now, you might be walking in the bitter part of life because you're living out of the seat of your emotions. But when you live out of God's truth and out of his word and base your decisions based on what God said and not what your emotions says, you'll be able to rise to the occasion and be victorious over the situations in your life because you won't be living out your emotions. Your emotions is what got you in your situation. Emotions is what's keeping you captive in your situation. But the truth of God, as John says, will set you free. Not the truth of your emotions. The truth of God shall set you free. 
Well, babies, I love you, and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I pray that this blesses you, that you begin to learn about your emotions, not to live out your seat of emotions. Learn the fruit of the Spirit, because if your emotions is all over the place, and you see certain things rising up in you, cast it down. You know, the thought comes in your mind. You'll have a thought. Then it affects your emotions because it's not entered into your heart. And then you start acting it out. So it's your thought. It enters into your heart. And then it becomes an action. You got to cut it off at this point. God said, take every, take every thought in the captivity to see if it is of God. So no matter how you're emotionally or feeling, it came from a thought. See why you are feeling that feeling that you feel. Why are you emotionally feeling like that? Why are you? Check them thoughts at the door. If that devil tells you that you're unlovable, that's a lie. God was the first one that loved you. If, if, if a thought comes to your mind, I'm not going to make it. That's not of God. So, babies, just learn about your emotions. Learn what emotion is from God and what emotion is not from God. Don't make your decisions based on your emotions. Make sure it's lined up with the word of God. Get in your word and learn your word. And it's one of the things that you have to pray and fast about because you're only going to learn to control your emotions through praying and fasting and getting that word. But I can tell you now as a living witness. Until you get that word in you and that you base your decisions based on that word, ladies, you're always going to have problems as long as you base your decisions out of your emotions. Always. Always. You're always going to have problems. Always. It's not what you feel like. It's not what you think. It's not. It's not. It's what God says. It's what God says. And he wants us loving and having emotions and having feelings. But they can't be displaced. They can't be just our functional. You have to get in God and get in his word and line your emotions up with God's way. So that you can make right decisions out of your emotions. Not just our functional ones. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I pray that I pray that I pray that something that I said encourages you. Something that I said will lead you on the path to making right decisions and lead you closer into a relationship with God. Smooth to sugar, workers. Love you.